Welcome to another how-to video. This video will be looking at a question we get asked a lot by customers. How do you install a G1, G2 turret on a junction box? It seems like quite a simple thing and it used to be quite obvious how you would fit the camera to the junction box. With the previous generation of FWD turret models, they had three obvious screw holes around the perimeter of the camera's base, which lined up with three mounting holes on the hyphen M junction boxes. When the G1 and G2 turret models were introduced, they changed the design slightly. The turrets still have the three perimeter holes, but they now also have four screw holes under the base of the camera. These hidden mounting holes allow you to install the turrets on the newer, smaller DM21 and PT6 junction boxes. These new boxes are a perfect fit to the base of the turret and don't have the protruding lip that the hyphen M boxes had. The confusion customers often have is how to access these hidden mounting holes on the base of the turret. In the rest of this video, we'll show you how. The first step is to turn the plastic locking ring at the base of the turret anti-clockwise and remove it. With the ring removed, you can now access the locking screw that holds the ball of the turret. Loosen this screw, but do not remove it completely as it is spring-loaded and hard to get back in if removed completely. Once fully loosened, you should be able to move the small plate that holds the turret in place out of the way. With the plate held out of the way, you should now be able to angle the ball and bracket of the turret out of the base plate. It is quite a tight fit and if it's a new camera, it might take a bit of force to get it out of the base plate. Now you're ready to offer the base plate up to the junction box, which should already be mounted in your desired location. But before offering up, make sure the turret's fly lead is passed through the hole in the centre of the base plate because you will want to make the RJ45 connection and possibly the separate 12 volt connection inside the box before screwing the base plate onto the junction box. Once you have the base plate lined up with the junction box, you can screw in the four mounting screws that come with the junction box. With the base plate securely mounted, you can now slot the ball and bracket of the turret camera back into the base plate and move the small locking plate back into position. Once you've adjusted the camera into a position that covers the area you want, you can tighten the locking screw to lock the camera in place. With the camera secure, you can place the plastic locking ring back on the camera and turn it clockwise to complete the physical installation of the camera. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please do by clicking the Use IP logo. Check the description below for links to our webshop, forum, Facebook and Twitter. If you want more videos like this, click the playlist on screen now. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.